Hey, welcome to the Media Composer Cutting Edge Video Series. In this episode, we're going to talk about script-based editing and Avid's patented script sync technology. Script sync empowers Media Composer editors to quickly synchronize their media to an electronic copy of the script from their film or TV show. Now, instead of having to sift through bins or shuttle through clips, an editor simply needs to double-click on a line in that script, and instantly they're transported to every performance of that line as it exists in their media files. Obviously, this is a huge advantage when working with script-based material from TV shows or films. But it's also a big plus when working with transcripted material, such as you'd find in reality television or documentaries. As powerful as script-based editing is to use, it's fairly simple to set up. The first step in the process is to import a text file of your script. In this example, we're importing a transcript of a sit-down interview we did for our documentary. The next step in the process is to associate your media files with the script. You do this by selecting the range of text that's covered by your clip or clips, and then simply dragging and dropping them right onto the script window. The last thing you need to do is to establish a synchronous relationship between the lines of text and the media files. This is where Script Sync comes in. ScriptSync gives you up to 12 different languages to work with and several options for how you'd like to interpret your script. Once you select OK, the indexing process takes place. Using phonetic recognition technology, ScriptSync compares your text file and your audio waveforms to establish a line-for-line -line synchronous relationship. Once the index is done, ScriptSync places sync points called nodes on each line of the text. Double-clicking on these nodes will bring you to that exact line in your clip. We shot on the beach a scene where um, Jack and Diane are walking on the beach. The technique on this movie is um, a little bit different than on other movies. Because One of the many benefits of having a synchronous relationship between your media files and your script is that doing a simple text search can help you sift through all of your media just to find a single performance. A little closer in their relationship because first... Being able to do an instantaneous text-based search through all your media isn't just valuable for finding performances, it can also often be used to help alter them. Take a listen to part of the sequence we're working on right now. Which is probably the last camera that will be ever developed for shooting film um, I was very eager to get this camera and, and shoot with it. We want this particular soundbite to end after he says the word film, so we'll quickly use the tail feature to lop off the excess part of the clip. Camera that will be ever developed for shooting film. That's better, but we still have one little problem. Film. It's obvious from the inflection in his voice that that clip should keep going. It just doesn't sound right. Now we could use an audio workstation and some pitch adjustment software, but that can be quite complicated. Using Script Sync, we can find a shortcut. We're going to search on the word film with a period at the end. This will take us to every instance where he uses the word film at the end of a sentence. Here's the first one. Is film and is film and. That one wasn't bad, but let's see if we can find another one. Read it on film. They both work pretty well, but I think I like the second one better. So now all you have to do is to set an endpoint before the word film in the source clip. Read it on film. Now on the record side, mark an in and out around the word film that you'll be replacing. Now you just make the edit and see how it sounds. Develop for shooting film. Develop for shooting film. That's a lot better than the original that sounded like this. Film. Film. And one last time, here's the corrected version. Shooting film. ScriptSync gives editors a greater level of efficiency and control over their media than they've ever had before. That's because you're spending more time working on the actual story and less time hunting around for clips. Now, as always, we encourage you to try this all out for yourself by downloading a fully functioning trial version of Media Composer right from the Avid website. 
Of course, you can talk to your local Avid reseller as well. That's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching, and please stay tuned for more Media Composer cutting-edge videos.